Welcome back to another Delivered Reviewed. First of all, thanks, massive thanks for everybody that's subscribed. Um, if anybody that's watching now, because most of the people that are watching the videos aren't subscribed, so please, if you can, helps the channel, helps the algorithm. If you can subscribe, if you don't want to subscribe, then by all means, if you can just click the like button, I would massively, massively appreciate it. Um, so anyway, on to KFC. I would say, obviously been going years and years and years, first of all. The chicken itself is still high quality. Um, you can see the fillet burger there on the screen and uh, the coating, leaven, herbs and spices, that's still the same, still tastes nice. Got a little bit of sort of heat to it, obviously, if nobody's had the KFC before, which is highly unlikely. Um, but either way, I went for, as I say, the burger meal and I also had the new items, which were the signature fries and, as you can see there, the teriyaki dip bikes don't know why we don't get the burger would have been nice but i guess it's a, a us thing only obviously kfc being us so is what it is but um i thought i'd try them never had the bikes before because they didn't really look to be that much for the kind of 3.99 that they are i mean they're not a bad price i, I wouldn't i wouldn't sort of discount them for the price as such but i always kind of had in my head that they'd be kind of tiny little sort of like popcorn chicken bites but they were actually pretty decent so first off with the signature fries i think they're basically the same fries um skin on fries but they supposedly have extra herbs and spices um as a seasoning which is black pepper white pepper paprika sage rosemary and bay all blended together to give a slight almost like the chicken sort of like a a bit of a not heat but a bit like a salt and pepper coating but just with an edge so they're definitely nice fries uh, i think they're a an improvement but they're still very very soft fries like the burger king uh probably used to be the crispiest i'd say um in terms of the, the brands um mcdonald's as another subscriber said the kind of softer fries but still french fries thin fries and kfc with the skin on fries always were uh sort of a, a bigger chip but quite soft there was never they were never crispy or at least i'd never had them crispy um so there were still those sort of same fries nice but if that's what they're going to do going forward, then I think they're just having to try and bring people back in um, for the fries. So maybe maybe they had some complaints about them. I don't know. But either way, um, I'm not going to say I'm impressed at this point because obviously the signature fries just with the herbs and spices, okay, they are nice. But the way things are just put together with KFC, and again, maybe it's just the local store um, that I've, I've been to. They just, it's like, the three, it's, even you can see there with the burger, just big chunks of lettuce, it's not separated out into pieces, you know, arranged, put onto the bun. Maybe they were busy, maybe they weren't, um, but they just seem to be lacking something, and I can't really kind of put my finger on it apart from just attention to detail. So, again, I know you're not going to a restaurant, I know it's not £30 a head, although, to be fair, some places aren't getting far off that, but um, they just need to add something to it. But anyway, that aside, teriyaki bites. Uh, the teriyaki sauce, I think that is as close to a standard teriyaki sauce as you can get. You've got that kind of sweet and savoury, um, sort of like spice, like a spicy barbecue-y almost sort of tang to it. Um, so really, really nice sauce, but not much of it. And obviously if they're dipped bites, you kind of have the impression that they're going to be, again, okay, dipped in sauce, but just a little bit more. I mean, that one had a fair coating on it. And there was some more sauce at the bottom of the uh, pot, but... Again, it's just like that kind of, that principle, just not no attention to detail. Like, yeah, oh, here we go, bang it in the bag. It's just KFC, you know. We do hundred meals a day, whatever. But you're still paying a decent price for it. So I just think these restaurants, uh, if you can call them that, should be kind of stepping the game up a bit. I inadvertently missed off the end of the first review part the hot wings, but I thought I'd show the hot wings just to compare, as I was saying before, with other places that are bigger, chunkier. Um, Chickenlicious, for example, their their hot wings, or I should say. Uh, gourmet wings much much bigger chicken but this 
as I've said before, KFC have got a lot of coating, but just the chicken isn't isn't that much. It, it's you know, and there's always those dark spots in it, and I, I don't know what's going on with them at the moment. Maybe it's the different suppliers or whatever they had years ago, but. Overall, as a meal, gravy, sauces, gravy is still the same as well, just, just to add. Sweet corn, which I didn't mention, but that is the standard corn. Um, obviously, you can have beans and, and other sides uh, to accompany it. I would say overall as a meal, a little bit disappointing. I kind of really did expect more and was, to be honest, looking forward to it. But you're going to see in a second, not good. Seven out of ten at the most. The teriyaki bites, yeah, nice sauce, but that's about all it was. So, seven out of ten. Again, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and on to the next one next week.